Good morning everyone, how are you all doing? I'm Mystical and today we have a brand new tutorial on how to mod Beat Saber on your Quest 3, Quest 2, Quest Pro and probably also Quest 1. Things have gotten a little bit more complicated since the last time we modded Beat Saber and I've noticed that a few of you are having issues in the comments section. So here we are with an updated tutorial. Okay, enough with the talking, let's jump right into the video. As usual, as with all of these mods, you will first need to have developer mode enabled on your quest. So to do this, there's tons of tutorials online. I'll link one right up here and one in the description below as well. That should help you unlock developer mode on your quest. Once you have developer mode enabled, this will allow you to install unofficial or third-party APKs onto your device. You will also require some form of a computer running ADB or SideQuest. We're going to use SideQuest in this video just because it's the easiest form of it. The main issue between now and the previous video that we recorded is because in the previous video we could use Oculus DB in order to downgrade our Beat Saber. However, Oculus DB no longer seems to be working after Meta made some sort of changes to their SDK. We can no longer pull directly from their website a downgraded APK. We instead need to use Quest App Version Switcher to do this. This is an additional app that we will need to install onto our Quest. So let me show you how to install Quest App Version Switcher onto your device and let's get started. First of all, you will require the advanced version of the SideQuest installer, not the easy version. Links for that will of course be down below. To install this, you just press on it and install it like you would any other Windows or Mac OS app. They also have a Linux version here. Once you have the advanced installer installed, you will want to make sure your Quest is powered on and connected to your computer via a Type-C to USB-A cable, and it should show up in the top left of SideQuest right up here. Once you see your Quest connected, you will want to go to the search box inside SideQuest and search for QAVS. This stands for Quest App Version Switcher. Find this and press Side Load. This will install Quest App Version Switcher onto your Quest. Remember, this is the app that will allow us to downgrade Beat Saber. In case for whatever reason you feel the need to back up your game, now would be a good time to do so. With your quest connected to SideQuest, press on the Applications menu up in the top right here. Then find Beat Saber on the list, press on it, and now you can back up your local game. So if at any time you feel the need to go back to your game, you have that backup in case, you know, you have any save data that you actually want to keep. Restoring it is as simple as just pressing the restore button in the future when you feel the need to restore. From here on out, it's really, really simple. You can actually unplug your quest from your computer. Let's jump into the unknown sources tab on our device. To find the unknown sources tab, you will want to go to all your apps, go to the sort list right up here, press on unknown sources, and find Quest App Version Switcher. When you launch Quest App Version Switcher, the first thing it will ask you for is to give it access to files. So you want to tick this here, press back, and then you'll be back in Quest App Version Switcher. Well, then what you will want to do is make sure Beat Saber modding is selected up top. Press on Start. And here you will see that it's telling you you need to downgrade because the latest version of Beat Saber is not moddable. But to do this, you will need to log in to your Oculus account. So press on login and sign in. This is only needed because without this, well, it can't download the APK from the servers. Once you have signed in, you see it'll say login success. Then you want to press on downgrade. This will begin the process of downloading the downgraded version of Beat Saber to your Quest. Once the downgraded version is downloaded, you will want to press on Mod My Game. This will patch the necessary libraries into the game in order for you to be able to have it modded. Once this is complete, you want to press on Install Game. And first, you will see here it'll tell you that you will lose any progress that you have if you have not backed it up. You can back up your game through SideQuest in case this is something you want to do. I didn't need to do that, so I just pressed Uninstall. This will uninstall the current version of Beat Saber from your headset. Then you want to install the modded version. However, to do this, you would need to allow installing from unknown sources from Quest App Version Switcher. So you want to do that, press on install once again, and this time it should let you just install the game without any errors. Once the game is installed, your quest might complain, as you can see here. You just want to press close and ignore this. Then you will want to allow it access to all the folders that it asks you for. So just press allow and allow, 
and there you go. And then you want to give Beat Saber access to files as well. This is needed because Beat Saber will now have access to downloaded songs. Without giving it access to files and folders, well, it won't be able to continue. And as you can see here, modding within Quest App version switcher is currently not supported on the Quest 3. So here we need to move onto our computer and jump into Quest Patcher. Links for this will of course be down below. Install it like you would any other Windows app, and with your Quest connected to your computer, follow the instructions that show up on screen. You have already downgraded the APK, so that is perfect, and you will want to go to this tab and select Repatch. I do this just to make sure that everything is 100% working. Then go back to your Mods tab and select all the mods. This will install everything that you need, including Song Loader and Song Downloader, which are of course two of the most important mods here that will let us load and download songs to Beat Saber. Now, you can unplug your Quest 3 from your computer and you can launch Beat Saber. You should now see to the left when you launch Beat Saber, you will have brand new menus, including Song Downloader. Here, you can download any songs that you want. You can search for them right up here, and then once you find them, just press download. It will automatically add them into your game, and when you press on solo, you should now be able to see all of your custom downloaded songs. There you guys go. That's how simple that is. If you're on a Quest 2 and Quest Pro, this process is much easier, as you don't require Quest Patcher. All you need to do is inside Quest App Version Switcher, when you're done installing the modded version of the game, is press on Get mods and follow these instructions. This will get all the core mods directly there on your headset so you don't need to use a PC again. Once you do get to the main menu, you want to press on Get Mods. Now you want to press on Open Beat Saber Mods page and download all the core mods. This will install all the mods that you necessarily need to run mods. And once that's done, it'll tell you that it is complete and you can press back in the top right corner. Then you will want to grant it access again for some weird reason. And I just kept pressing allow because I mean, you know, you just gotta allow it and the mods weren't showing up. So you want to go into tools and reload all your mods. Once you press reload mods, you can go back to installed mods and just confirm that all your mods are showing up there and that they are all ticked. Once you know that this is the case, it's all downhill. You can now launch Beat Saber, which will ask you the very first time that you launch it for access to files and folders. You want to give it that so that it can read the new songs that you download. And once you allow it access, you should now be in Beat Saber. To the left, you will see all your modded menus and you will be able to download any songs that you might want to download. As well as when you press on solo, you should now be able to read those songs. So there you go. You have successfully modded Beat Saber on Quest 2 and Quest Pro and Quest 3 earlier if you're using that. So there you guys go. That is how you mod the latest moddable version of Beat Saber on your Quest 2, Quest 3, Quest Pro, and probably also Quest 1. Actually, definitely Quest 1. Hopefully this could help you out. Hopefully you're now running your favorite modded songs right there on your Quest. And if you have any issues, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my very best to help you. Also, check out our Discord and check out the Beat Saber modding Discord as well. Thanks for all those are down below. If you liked the video, please do leave a like. It helps the channel out a lot and it costs you nothing. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and our Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And thank you so, so much to all the Patreons that are supporting this channel. You guys are amazing. Seriously, much love. Thank you so, so much. And thank you to anyone else supporting the channel in any way, shape or form. We now also have a buy me a coffee link. So if you want to check that out, links are down below. As usual, if you guys want to be notified about your content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, dig my back. And see you again in the next video. Peace.